Hello everyone, this is your Kalpana here. So in this video, we are going to see a problem from conformal mapping. Okay, problem. What is the region of a of the omega plane into which the rectangular region in the z plane bounded by the lines x equals to zero, y equals to zero, x equals to one, and y equals to two is mapped under the transformation omega equals to z plus 2 minus i okay so here we are given the rectangular region in the z plane which is bounded by the lines x equals to 0 y equals to 0 x equals to 1 and y equals to 2 okay so we have to find the region of omega plane using the transformation omega equals to z plus 2 minus i. Okay, so we have to find the region of the omega plane which is formed by the boundary lines using omega equals to z plus 2 minus i. Solution. So we are having a given Boundary lines of Z plane are X equals to 0, Y equals to 0, X equals to 1 and Y equals to 2. And transformation Omega equals to Z plus 2 minus I. Okay. We have Omega equals to U plus IV and Z equals to X plus I, Y. Okay. Good. Now take the transformation. Omega equals to Z plus 2 minus I. Okay. We can replace Omega by U plus IV equals to replace Z by X plus IY plus 2 minus I. So you can write it as U plus IV equals to X plus 2 plus I into Y minus one. Okay. Now equating real and imaginary parts we get u equals to x plus 2 real part u equals to x plus 2 and imaginary part v equals to y minus 1 ok v equals to y minus 1 Now we'll consider a table. Okay. Z plane. Bounded by the lines X equals to 
transformed boundary lines are okay you having x equals to 0 now consider u equals to x plus 2 when x equals to 0 you have to consider the part which is having x in the imaginary part you don't have x right in the real part only you are having x so you are considering real part which is equals to 0 plus 2 now put x equals to 0 since x equals to 0 so this equals to 0 so you'll get u equals to 0 so x equals to 0 is transformed to u equals to 0 okay next y equals to 0 x equals to 0 map to u equals to 2 okay next one y equals to 0 since you are having y in the imaginary part so consider v equals to y minus 1 now put v y equals to 0 0 minus 1 is minus 1 so therefore v equals to minus 1 y equals to 0 is transformed to v equals to minus 1 or y equals to 0 is mapped to v equals to minus 1. Okay. Next. x equals to 1. You are having x in the real part. So consider u equals to x plus 2. Now put x equals to 1. You will get 1 plus 2 equals to 3. So u equals to 3. x equals to 1 is transformed to u equals to 3. That means the line x equals to 1 is transformed to the line u equals to 3. x equals to 1 is a line in the z plane which is transformed to u equals to 3. A line u equals to 3 in the omega plane. Okay. Next. Consider y equals to 2. Since you are having y in the imaginary part, we will consider v equals to y minus 1. Now substitute y equals to 2. So 2 minus 1 is 1. Therefore, v equals to 1. So y equals to 2. A line in the z plane is transformed to a line v equals to 1 in the omega plane. Okay. For y equals to 0, v equals to minus 1. For x equals to 1, u equals to 3. For y equals to 2, v equals to 1.
Now we are going to draw the rectangular region bounded by the lines in Z plane. Consider axis. Okay. So zero, one, two. One, two, minus one, minus two, minus one, minus two, fine. So in the x axis, equation will be y equals to zero. Okay, y equals to zero in the y axis. X equals to zero is the equation. Now, x equals to zero is your y-axis. Y equals to zero is your x-axis, and x equals to one is the line which is parallel to y. These are x equals to one, and for y equals to two. The line which is parallel to y-axis, y equals to two. So the region bounded by x equals to zero, y equals to zero, x equals to one, y equals to two is okay. So this is a rectangular region. Okay, formed by the lines, four lines. X equals to zero, y equals to zero, x equals to one, and y equals to two. Okay, now let's see for u equals to two, v equals to minus one, u equals to three, and v equals to one. The transform region. Okay. U and V. You are considering two axes, U and V. Okay. Zero. One, two, three, minus one, minus two, minus three, one, two, three, minus one, minus two, minus three, fine. So u equals to two. First one, u equals to two is a line. Which is parallel to the axis. Okay, this is a line u equals to two. Next, v equals to minus one. So v equals to one is a line which is parallel to u axis v equals to minus 1 next u equals to 3 u equals to 3 is a line parallel to v axis this are u equals to 3 which is parallel to v axis and next v equals to one v equals to one so this is a v equals to one so it forms a line which is parallel to v equals to one is a line which is parallel to u axis v equals to one okay so let's consider it as equation one two three 
and 4. It will be easy to find, right? So, this is a 1, this 2, and u equals to 3, this is a line number 3, and this is a 4. Okay. So, the region bounded by the lines 1, u equals to 2, and 2, v equals to minus 1, and 3, u equals to 3, and for 4, v equals to 1 is, again, a rectangular region. Hence, the lines x equals to 0, y equals to 0, x equals to 1, y equals to 2 are mapped into The lines u equals to 2, v equals to minus 1, u equals to 3, v equals to 1 respectively. Which form? A rectangle in omega plane. Okay. So this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from conformal mapping in this video. Hope you will understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then. Bye-bye.